the pyramid, he guards himself with warriors? No, but you've come swiftly. Look. War. When? Soon. You will tell that to the butcher. There's civilization for you. You'll take the message. The soldiers have their women and children. You make war on them? Our women and children were at Sand Creek. But they will have their chance to leave. Give this to the butcher. Wait, Adam. My father gave me this. He said when I wish a strong friendship to find the man who can string the bow. I give it to you, Adam. Thanks, Fire Knife. Brother calls me to his side. Since you came to the butcher's camp, he makes ready for a fight. I fear that you have not spoken well. I did the best I could. He won't go. Then it is he who makes war. You must leave this place. The council has given its word. You waste the lives of your warriors. No, Adam. They die for their land and to take a revenge. brother once gave me a gift. I return it. The gift was given in friendship. Did you doubt it then? You will keep the bow, Adam. What has been cannot be wiped out. Neither love nor hatred. The Cheyenne remember well. You knew such a thing would happen. It was the payment of a debt. And the torture of a soldier and the slaying of those in my part. Once we welcomed your people to this valley, they betrayed that welcome. If we must do terrible things now, it is because they are the only things your people understand. They will have a great fear. Never again betray us. I wish to take my party to the fort. We are free to go. We want only one of them. Give us the butcher. You have nothing but hatred for this man. Why do you speak for him? 
So I may take him to Fort Ellis, where he can speak of his crimes against our people. He will put colored iron on his breast. Maybe. I will make my own justice. I offer you your lives for the butchers. And go to them, Whiteface. Tell them to prepare for the fire. When next we meet, it would be to steal each other's lives. <laughs> 